All right, let's look at this 2009 Deering Terry Balcom banjo. And I will say this, that that guy is truly the Duke of Drive. If you want to see what Drive's about, just go on YouTube and this guy's something. And his hammer-ons is pulling. I can't do it. I can pretend to do it. But anyway, so let's, uh, let's hear this banjo. things that make this banjo unique but let's look at the, the actual banjo itself so you have the uh, standard one uh, presto type tail piece one piece armrest uh, one piece flange okay so this is a uh, pretty much a model that uh, Terry Balcom designed based on his wants and it has many characteristics of a Gibson banjo so let's uh, look at the inlay first and we'll just go up the banjo and look at it and we'll go up to the headstock real really really nice okay so the fingerboard is ebony which helps to uh, give the uh, banjo a little more distinct sound a little more uh, electric type sound okay so let's look at the back of the neck and the resonator okay walnut uh, walnut is one of the more rare woods used on banjos, and I should find out why. It must either be very rare, must be hard to find walnut you can work with, but forever, for whatever reason, there are not a lot of walnut banjos. Now, if you take a pre-war Gibson walnut banjo, you take this banjo, a newer Gibson made out of walnut, um, and anything uh, Rich and Taylor made out of walnut, they all just kill, okay? And most people are very surprised when they go to a jam and somebody's playing a walnut banjo and they hear it and they go, wow, what was that? So whenever you have a banjo like this and you go to a jam, there's a strong possibility that you're going to get noticed, okay? Now, the other thing that's special about this banjo is that the tone ring is slightly lighter than the other Deering tone rings. And this tone ring was designed specifically for Terry Balcom to uh, 
sound like, once again, the Gibson pre-war banjos. And this steering is the one banjo that personally, if you were a Gibson lover, that you would actually love this banjo. Um, the, um, the fact that the tone ring's lighter gives you a little bit more tonality uh, and responsive, responsiveness. And once again, I've seen this happen with the old uh, Gibson pre-war banjos. And once again, we're talking about a fifty to $100,000 banjo. If the tone ring's lighter, just a little lighter, and what I mean by that is if you've got a three pound tone ring or three pound, one or two ounce, it'll have a certain sound. But if you get a two pound, 14 ounce tone ring or something, those are just unbelievable as far as the sound. So anyway, so Terry Balcom, knowing this, requested that they make a special tone ring with him, for him, that was slightly lighter. Okay, so let's look at the inside of this banjo. And uh, anyway, that's the inside of the resonator. It's a 2009, and once again, this banjo looks almost new. Now, we get a lot of banjos in here that are 10, 15 years old that somebody bought and never played. Now, this one's been played a little bit, but not much, and so it's in almost perfect condition. And then, of course, when we look in the uh, pot here, we see the uh, three-ply hard rock maple shell, and we also see the tone ring, and uh, Anyway, and little things like there's a heel cap on here. So Daring's missed no details in creating this absolutely unbelievable banjo. If you have any questions, you can call Andy at 404-372-5482, or you can uh, go to banjowarehouse.com. You can come visit us if you want. Uh, we're here seven days a week, not here, but we live a, half, a mile and a half away. So if you want to see us Saturday or Sunday, call us. Now, give us a day's notice because sometimes we're traveling. Uh, we Honestly, we've been doing this four years, and we somehow have bought 750 used banjos from all over the world, which kind of blew my mind. But we have to constantly be looking for banjos. So, And that's why we have such a great collection. If you do decide to come, Plan on staying for four or five hours because it takes that long to uh, hear the different banjos for them to warm up. And I can guarantee you if you spend that much time here, you'll find a banjo that you love. And a year later, you'll still love it because you've compared it with every banjo known to man. That's it. So you guys have a great day. And if you like these videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.